Open Source Intelligence, or more frequently known as OSINT. It involves the collecting and analysing of information from publicly available sources to gain insights into potential security threats, vulnerabilities and adversaries. And in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the tools that I use daily while conducting OSINT investigations. Some of the tools that I mention in this video may not be categorised directly as OSINT tools, but they do help you achieve the outcome you're looking for when conducting OSINT. Please do remember that this video is for educational purposes only, and if you do enjoy it, please do leave a like down below. Now, in this video, I will be talking about five different tools. We'll be discussing firstly Shodan, which is often described as a search engine for the Internet of Things, URL Scan, which is a web based service designed for scanning and analyzing websites and web pages to uncover potential security threats, Spiderfoot which is essentially a reconnaissance tool that simplifies and streamlines the process of collecting information from various sources. And then fourthly, Multigo, which excels in entity link analysis and helps users map relationships between them. And then finally, ReconNG, which allows you to conduct open source web-based reconnaissance quickly and thoroughly. Everything is timestamped down below, so if you're here for a specific tool, feel free to skip ahead. However, if you just want to know generally about OSINT and the best sources, I recommend watching the whole video as each tool provides something unique to help you in your OSINT investigations. So let's begin with Shodan. Out of the list that I have here, this is probably one that you're most likely have heard of already. And as I said before, it's a search engine for the Internet of Things, and it plays a crucial role of helping us gather information about internet connected devices and services. So what can it actually do? Well, it can heavily assist you in device discovery, as it can give you a vast and searchable database of all the internet connected assets. So you can search things like devices, servers, routers, webcams, all those sorts of things. And it achieves this by conducting port scannings and service enumeration. It identifies open ports on these devices and retrieves data about the services running on them. This information can be invaluable for understanding the exposed services and their configurations. Another essential aspect of Shodan is its ability to collect banner information. These banners often reveal details about the software and version numbers running on these services. So for open source intelligence professionals, this is a gold mine of information as it offers you an insight into the technology stack used by the target. It also allows you to search for specific vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. So we can query Shodan to identify potential targets that are running the known vulnerable software or have misconfigurations that can be exploited. So that can of course be dangerous in the wrong hands. And then finally, the one point that I wanted to mention is that Shodan can also provide you geolocation data, including coordinates that pinpoint the physical location of the internet connected devices. This is crucial for OSINT investigations as it basically helps you understand the geographical context of the targets. Here is an example of what you can see on Shodan. You can see some general information, web technologies that are in use, the vulnerabilities, and then on the right hand side, you've got open ports, open SSH, and all the information that would be helpful in an OSINT investigation. Which nicely leads us then on to our second point here, which is urlscan.io. URL scan excels in website analysis. It basically allows you to submit URLs or domains for in-depth examination. The magic basically happens when the tool loads the web page in a controlled environment because it looks at its behavior and takes a snapshot of the page. The snapshot can be a gold mine of information, which will help you understand the content and structure of the website in question. But what makes URL scan particularly powerful is its capability to perform behavioral analysis. It basically tracks the behavior of the website under scrutiny. It keeps an eye on JavaScript execution, records HTTP requests and responses, and meticulously monitors what transpires on the web page. This feature is essential for detecting potential threats and identifying hidden content or activities that you might not really realize or see on the first glance, which is probably what makes this one of my favorite OSINT tools and that I use the most out of the five that we have here today. 
Then another also good reason for using URL scan is for threat detection. It excels at identifying known vulnerabilities and security threats on the web page as it analyzes. It can then alert you to potential dangers and help you make an informed decision about that website that you're investigating. Here we have a screenshot from a scan done on google.co.uk and you can see a wealth of information here that's all available for free. This is not paid for information. You have a summary which tells you how many contacted IPs there were in how many countries, across how many domains, the main IP address and who that belongs to. You can also see how long the TLS certificate is valid for and if the URL scan has a verdict on whether this is malicious or not. And one of the most useful features is the snapshot on the right hand side which you can click on to without actually browsing to it yourself. You also have a lot of other information in terms of the HTTP requests, links, behavior and indicators. So I definitely recommend checking this out and just popping in a few websites to play with the data and see what you get back. Next up we then have Spiderfoot. Now, Spiderfoot is more of a reconnaissance tool that automatically queries over 100 public data sources to gather intelligence on data points like IP addresses, domain names, email addresses, names, and many other points. You simply specify the target you want to investigate, pick which modules you want to enable, and then Spiderfoot will collect the data and build up an understanding of all the entities and how they relate to each other. And you know, that in cyber we always love automation. So this is a tool that's very popular. Spiderfoot can then be used also offensively, e.g. in a red team exercise or a penetration test for reconnaissance purposes of your target or defensively to gather information about what you or your organization might have exposed over the internet. Spiderfoot clearly excels in data collection. It automates all the queries across multiple data sources ranging from search engines to also social media platforms, DNS records, who is databases and obviously a lot more. This exhaustive data is a foundation of open source intelligence, meaning you can construct a comprehensive profile of a target. But it doesn't just stop there because Spiderfoot will also allow you to uncover relationships and connections between various data points. So they're not just individual data, you can see and understand how the intricate web of associations are together, which will reveal potential links between individuals, organizations, or even just online entities. Then after this, it also provides a critical service by conducting risk assessments. It identifies vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and potential threats that are associated with the target. So you can see it's another very powerful tool which helps you in multiple areas of conducting open source intelligence depending on what you need. So it's a tool that I also recommend you definitely have a look into as there's many tutorials online of people using it. Next we'll go on to our fourth one which is Multigo. So as I mentioned at the start, Multigo excels in entity link analysis. And just what I mean by entities, they can be individuals, organizations, websites, or even just social media profiles like Twitter or on Instagram. Multigo's primary function is for information gathering. It aggregates the data from a wide range of publicly available sources, like social media platforms or websites, which I just mentioned. It will scour the entire internet collecting data points related to a specific entity and transforms this into a structured graph which then leads to one, it's big, one of its biggest advantages, which is to be able to provide a visual representation of the collected data, as you can see now on the screen. It will look to present this data or information in the form of a graph or a chart, making it easier for OSINT analysts to understand the complex relationships and patterns. You can see if you've got hundreds of data points, understanding the relationship between them is very important in OSINT as you need to know how they link together and what each of them mean in terms of each other. It will reveal relationships that may remain unhidden if you didn't have this availability of the tool. For example, at first, if you've got 100 data points, you might not know what links to each other. So this will make it more apparent and lead you to potential leads and targets for further investigation, as you might see a scenario where you see a connection and think that needs more investigation. 
Like, let's say you're working for an organization where their server is being targeted. Multigo will start with the server's IP address as the initial entity and then start to explore associated domains and uncover their roles and find potential threats. It'll be very useful for you in understanding all of those connections and if they're linked. That then takes us on to our nice and final point of Recon NG. And again, as I mentioned at the start, it's an open source reconnaissance framework written in Python that plays a critical role in gathering intelligence about targets. So pretty similar to some of the tools that we've already mentioned. And it also has an interface that's pretty similar to Metasploit. So if you're already familiar with Metasploit, then you're already in the best starting position. Recon Energy's primary function is to automate the process of collecting data from various sources on the internet. It's like having a skilled detective at your disposal, sifting through vast amounts of information. And one of its biggest strengths is its support for custom modules. Cybersecurity professionals can create their own modules to fetch data from specific sources, which allows you to tailor Recon NG to your unique OSINT requirements, which is really, really advantageous. These modules allow you to extract the data from search engines, social media platforms, DNS records, public databases, and many, many, many more. I could be here for days naming them all. The beauty of Recon NG usually lies in its adaptability and extensibility. So you can even create your own modules to fetch the data from these custom sources. And because of this, it can be really useful and be used to search for threat indicators like IP addresses, domains or email addresses, which are associated with known security threats or vulnerabilities. So again, another really useful tool used within OSINT that I recommend you check out. That then brings us to the end of the video, which I hope you found really useful and gained some more knowledge about the OSINT tools. And if you have, do join our Discord community below where we talk about cybersecurity and all the types of videos that I create. It's completely free and everyone is always asking questions just to get help from other people in the cybersecurity space. The link is down below in the description and also the comment section. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. It massively helps it out. And I can also look to create the top five OSINT tools which are paid for as all the tools in this video were for free which you can access straight away by just either creating an account or browsing to the link in the description.